Seth is a software tool to perform man-in-the-middle attacks against poorly secured Microsoft remote desktop connections. It attempts to downgrade RDP connections in order to extract clear text credentials or to execute commands by injecting arbitrary keyword events. It is open source and written in Python and Bash. Just visit our repository on GitHub. The author of Seth is Dr. Adrian Vollmer, a member of the SYS research team. The following demo shows how Seth can be used to successfully attack insecure RDP connections. On the left, we see the Windows machine of the victim who wants to establish an RDP connection to a domain controller. On the right, we see the attacker system running Seth on a regular Kali Linux. In this example, the attacker starts Seth and specifies three IP addresses and a further parameter for command execution. Now the victim tries to connect to the domain controller via RDP and enters his user password. Meanwhile, Seth was already working its magic, set up a man-in-the-middle position and successfully performed a downgrade attack. A warning message concerning the identity of the remote computer is shown to the victim. There is work to be done, so the victim simply clicks yes to get on. And the attacker is very happy, as both receiving the victim's clear text password and the command injection attack was successful. In the established man-in-the-middle position, sniffing keyboard events of the victim's RDP session works great too. Now, let's see what Seth is capable of if our victim enables the recommended network-level authentication. The attacker restarts Seth with the same parameters. And the victim connects to the domain controller via RDP again. In its man-in-the-middle position, Seth performs a downgrade attack against the used RDP authentication. Seth receives authentication data and detects that the server enforces network-level authentication. A warning message concerning the identity of the remote computer is shown to the victim. If the victim clicks yes, the RDP connection fails. But the attacker can still gain access to the victim's clear text password despite the enabled network-level authentication.